Ricochet, how are you? What's up, man? I'm good. How you feeling? Everything is good. You know, it's nice. summer and vaccines and all that shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just That's looking been crazy. It's been crazy, huh? Thinking about all the time since like it started and that, oh, crazy. No, it's it's insane. You know, I I was watching you know the soccer uh, yesterday, and the stadium was full of people, and it's the first time in a year and a half that I've seen a stadium packed, and it was like crazy. It was like, oh, this is new. <laughs> yeah, it's like a new experience, and the fans are like even crazier because they've been like, it's great, it's cool. Yeah, it is, and you know, let's start with um with you and uh, on Raw, you've been on the hunt for the US Championship. You know, the last match with uh, Umberto Carrillo end up in a double count out. Um, yeah. Are you still trying to go for Sheamus title? Yeah, that's uh, something I'll have to correct eventually. But um, yeah, I think Sheamus, Umberto, WWE Universe, I think they all know what my intentions are because I've made it pretty clear. Yeah. I've told Seamus and everybody, like, he's got something that I want and I'm not going to stop until I get it. Yeah. Uh, do you think we, if Seamus wasn't injured with the nose, you might, something might happen at Hell in a Cell? I do believe so. I know. I mean, if Seamus knows or not, once, if he wants to get smacked in his head, he can meet me at Hell in a Cell too. But I know right now he's, they, 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 they wouldn't even let him, but when he gets, I think once uh, immediately, as soon as he gets cleared, like he knows most likely myself and Umberto are going to be gunning for him. Yeah. But uh, that's why I said, I think Umberto might be somebody that I have to Go past. make sure, put him, <laughs> put him down first. Yeah. And uh, I was the, how comfortable was Seamus jacket and hat? <laughs> yeah. Actually, the, I'm gonna be honest, the jacket actually fit me pretty well. I thought I pulled the jacket off. I mean, the, the hat was like way too big because I got this little small head. So the hat came down. But um, the jacket actually fit me pretty good, I thought. <laughs> it was hot. It was really hot, though. It was like, just walk, when you, as soon as you put it on, you're like, ooh, this is hot. And you know, Hell in a Cell this Sunday, um, yeah. you know, that's great matches on the on the card. Which is yeah. the one you're looking forward the most? Ooh. Honestly, man, I'm gonna go with Bobby and Drew because. This is Drew's last chance, at least while Bobby's still champion. And I think this is going to show if Drew, like, this is going to show both of those guys, like, at their best. You know what I mean? One's trying to stop, one's trying to move forward. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. That one's going to be great. When was your first contact with, uh, with wrestling? Uh, 2002 or 2003 is my first time. Um, I started training when I was like 14, uh, in somebody's backyard, <laughs> but like we were, we just loved it. We loved being there. We didn't care. We just loved, because we didn't have enough. We didn't know we were lived, we lived in Kentucky and we didn't have a lot of wrestling schools where I lived. So we just took this. And guys who actually went to other wrestling schools basically trained us what they learned from other wrestling schools. And so, um, yeah, that was, I had my first match. I said October, my birthday and my wrestling anniversary are the same day. I had my first match on my 15th birthday. The day I turned 15 was my first match. So October 11, 2003, it was my first match. And since then I just, Never look back. Yeah. And, you, you know, for the fans uh, that watch WWE, or, you know, they probably saw you first at NXT. Um, and NXT, it's different than it was when you were there. Now it's bigger, even though you had those takeover shows that were pretty amazing yeah. experience, you know, absolutely crazy crowd. But uh, if you could go back 
to NXT now, who would you like to to face? Who do you think would be like a good match for you? Well, I mean, if you ask me first, I'm going after Karrion Cross. He's got the title. He's he's got what I would want. First of all, that's who I'm going after. Um, second of all, besides Karrion, I think someone who I personally would want to be in there with. And it's it's not even because he's the champion, but like Bronson Reed, I think he's a guy that I would like to share the ring with and see what what he's because he's a guy who I've known for a while. We've been on the same show throughout my career, but we've never been in there together. So he's a guy that I would like to to go after. Um, there's so many guys. There's Kush- I'm naming all like the champions. Kushida is a guy yeah. who I would like to to be in there with. Obviously, Adam Cole's running a mug now. Like Kyle O'Reilly is independent on his own. Kyle O'Reilly is a guy that I would like to get in there with because we've shared the ring before, but not, I'm not the same wrestler I was when we shared the ring. I'm a different guy now. So Kyle O'Reilly would be one that I would go after. Yeah. This uh, last year obviously has been weird for everyone. And for you guys, you know, normally you would be on the road on a regular basis, but um, you just did, you know, Raw or SmackDown or NXT for the superstars. How much did that affect your training regime and to be in shape? Because one thing is when you're in the ring, you know, every day and train and be wrestling with uh, other guys. Another thing is when you just have to go, you know, on one day and then you have to go back home and, you know, not be able to wrestle. How much did that change for you? And how did you try to keep in shape during this period? Actually, it helped me personally um, because I got to focus on my training. I got to focus on my recovery. I got to focus on my sleep. I got to focus on my eating you know what I mean? I, I, I weight train, I do like kickboxing and I still do, I still do wrestling training. Like me and a couple of guys will go out there and we will, we will just, I, I train all aspects. And then which, and, and the thing about the road shows, the, the, the worst part was the, the the traveling because you're after a match and then you got to get in a car or a plane or a bus to go to the next match and you don't really get to to let your body rest after the beating it just took you know what i mean you got to go get ready and um but that's always been the sport and that's what we knew that's what we know we know that's what it is and we're okay with that because that's just what we love to do we all love it as much you know i mean we all love to do it but getting to focus on our recovery aspect i think we, we didn't, I think we all got to rest a little bit, rest our bodies, heal up a little bit. Um, so for me specifically, it's been great because I'm actually in the best shape that I've, I've been in because I got to focus on that. You know what I mean? So, and it's, it's given me time outside of the ring to focus on and watch and study my tapes and see what I'm doing wrong and see the things that I need to fix, which I think have shown in my recent work, you know what I mean? My yeah. little, it's a little bit different style than what it was before because I've kind of picked through things, you know what I mean? So. What would be your dream match? It's so easy to answer this question. It's, it's so easy to answer this question because there are so many guys, whether it's, uh, I think, the one that always pops out in my head is, is, is Orton, Randy Orton. He's a guy that I want to get in there and. I guess prove not only to him, not to myself, but just prove I I can I I can hold my own. I can win. A Roman Reigns, someone I've never shared the ring with, someone I think we would do well. Um, I glad that I'm in there now with Sheamus, showing Sheamus that I'm not afraid. Like he's this big thug. All right, cool. I'll still smack you in your mouth. I don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I would like to get back in there with AJ. I think there's still some unfinished business between me and Styles. You know what I mean? Uh, Seth Rollins, a guy who I know we would tear it down. I was going to say burn it down, but yeah. <laughs> we would tear it. You know, we would tear it down. You know what I mean? Um, there's so many guys that I'll. Yeah. I, it's, it's super easy. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, and Rollins is asking for it, to be honest. <laughs> He's asking to be smacked in his mouth. He really is asking for it. Anyway, and, uh, you know, uh, WWE is returning to live shows, um, live events, you know, uh, finally, 25 tour date, and you got uh, SummerSlam in Vegas, Allegiant Stadium. Uh, are you looking forward for SummerSlam? Because this might be WrestleMania, so to say, in a way, because it's probably going to be a packed stadium, you know, full crowds. Uh, you're looking forward for uh, these live shows and for SummerSlam in Vegas? Uh, 100% for so many different reasons, but um, I think, yeah, and it's just going to be, it's going to be so exciting. It's going to be electric. And I think the, it's, we are going to appreciate, I think everyone collectively, talent, fans, wrestler, everybody is going to just appreciate everything so much more appreciate the matches appreciate everything so much more being there live and just being able to experience it live because anyone who's been there live can tell you that it's so much of a different experience being there than watching it on tv like watching it on tv it's like whoa this is wild but being there you feel it so i think it's it's going to be great i'm so excited for it for so many different reasons i think i think we we need it, you know what I mean? I think everybody we need does. To feel, we need to feel <laughs> that again. We need to feel it again.